The bulge effect is under the distort category and if you apply it to any layer, it's going to give you this overlay control with a circle and four dots. And these control the horizontal radius and vertical radius of that bulge. So I can interactively just click and drag on any one of these corners and it'll increase both the horizontal and vertical radius at the same time. Unfortunately, holding down shift does not constrain the proportions. But if I just make this a little bit bigger so that it fills up the face of my logo a little bit more, Let's take a look at the other controls. First, we have bulge height, which is defaulted to one. And if I increase that, it's gonna make that bulge warp just more intense. And I can back that off and even go in the opposite direction so that I'm basically pushing in rather than bulging out. We also have a taper radius control, which is basically just a fall off for the effect. And actually to make this even a little bit easier to see, I'm going to make a new solid layer and add the grid effect make it a square grid and a little bit bigger and then just place that behind my logo. And then I'm going to cut that bulge effect and make a new adjustment layer and apply that effect to it instead. So let's reset that back to default and then increase the size a little bit more. So now we can see that grid texture in the background and how it's interacting with the bulge effect as well. If I deselect the layer, you can see that it's a very hard edge around that radius of the effect. But if I increase that taper radius, it's basically going to fall off from that outer radius being undistorted into the maximum distortion set by that bulge height. So if I increase this, now you can see it's not affecting the outside of this radius nearly as much as the inside. We also have the ability to change the bulge center. We can also click and drag on this point control to do this interactively. And we can change the anti-aliasing quality from low to high if you're not getting a very good quality image. But generally, low is not a problem and it renders faster. Finally, we have the ability to pin all edges. And if I just move this off to the left a little bit so that the radius is overlapping the corner of my composition, and then I check on that pin all edges, you can see that this warp is no longer going to distort anything at the edges of my comp, or really the edges of the layer. It's just that my adjustment layer is the size of the comp. So this is preventing me from distorting anything around those edges. And if I went to maybe a negative number and turn that off, you could see when I go over to this corner, now we're seeing transparent pixels. Turning on that pin all edges prevents that from happening. So now we're just kind of dimpling in that background without pulling it out of our composition there. But that is the bulge effect in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.